So we've uh, so far we've uh, shown how to uh, reverse engineer an existing physical data model, how to forward engineer it as is into another database, and then how to make a change to it and incrementally apply the incremental changes, not replace, but rather enhance what we have. So the final thing I want to show you very quickly is um, just the profiling capabilities. So within um, Within, uh, uh, within Architect, you can profile some of your data. So in this case, I'm going to look at the Movies database. Click Profile. Sorry, I'm going to actually we'll look at um, uh, do, do, what's a good one. We'll look at Movie, and we'll click Profile, and we're going to see what we have in here. This is handy if you're doing a bit of data cleanup and you want to see what's going on. So we can view, we, we select that and we can view it, and we can look at the various values. So you'll note down the left side, um, are the different columns in the table, and as one would expect, the movie ID, which should be unique, um, you've got unique values. There are 136 unique values. Um, the titles, again, what we're seeing are unique titles here as well, which you would expect. And then where, where you would expect to see some things that uh, aren't unique, uh, you're going to see things like year, uh, countries, 126 come from... Uh, the United States. So this is a very quick way of graphically seeing what kind of values you have in your source data uh, as well. You know, we can look at genre and very quickly see that 45 of the films in here, 33% of them are drama, 12% um, are crime, 11% action, 10% are sci-fi, 3% are uh, fantasy, and only 1% are thriller. So you can very quickly uh, get a breakdown where it's possible. Things like numeric, it's, uh, it's usually more difficult because the range of values is, is such that uh, you get uh, any number of entries. But for things where you're expecting a set number of values, you can very quickly have a look. So genre, where we've only got a limited number of, of, uh, of values, you can very quickly see if the source data fits that. So that's really a quick run through of how uh, Architect works, some of the features and functionality in it, and uh, really what uh, we hope you do out of this is that you go and download our product and give it a shot. It is open source, and along with uh, our other SQL Power open source offerings, uh, Wabbit, which is uh, an ad hoc uh, reporting and standard reporting BI tool that's really geared for end users. Uh, it's a client-driven, uh, thin client, as we're sorry, uh, Java-based solution as well, runs on pretty much every application that's out there, or every uh, platform that's out there. Uh, again, runs against pretty much every database that's available. And DQ Guru, which is a master data management data cleansing tool uh, that allows you to look at your source data and uh, through a very graphical, easy to follow uh, flow charting approach, uh, uh, cleanse or identify issues with your data and resolve it. All of these, along with the Architect, are available on our website at sqlpower.ca, where you can download our products. You can uh, join our user forums, where you can get a lot of valuable information from our developers, our consultants, and our community about the products. And there's some other neat stuff on there, uh, interesting articles, tools, and the like that you can download. So we invite you to join the almost 200,000 strong uh, member community for Architect and download it. Give us your feedback at our forums. Let us know what you think. And uh, of course, if you don't have the time to do some of this, we're always available to help out. Uh, we've been helping organizations with not only data warehousing and business intelligence uh, solutions over the past 20 years, but also with uh, data modeling, data management, uh, database design in general. And we can help you identify and correct your data issues. You know, Our slogan really has been our track record. We never fail and neither will you. So uh, do welcome you to come to our website. Again, it's sqlpower.ca. Uh, there's lots of contact information. We'd be happy to help you out with, uh, with any of the challenges that you're facing. And again, I encourage you to download not only Architect, but our other, uh, uh, our other uh, open source offerings. I want to thank you for listening to our screencast. Again, my name is John Kemp, a principal at uh, SQL Power, and look forward to uh, hearing back from you about uh, about your experiences with our product.